All right, it's been a little bit, but I'm back to some super auto pets, getting to show off a pretty cool arena team. Um, this one is German Shepherd, 1-Up Seagull, and Lionfish. So when the Lionfish uh, respawns, the German Shepherd gives it a bunch of attack, and then the Seagull will feed it a bunch of 1-Ups. Ends up being really good. Lionfish, of course, one of the pets that got changed. Now it's a tier 6, and it deals 4 damage to a random enemy for every 10 attack that it has. 8 at level 2, 12 at level 3, ends up being extremely good in the late game, possibly like the best end game ability. It's been really killer in lobbies, and overall a pretty high tier unit. And there's so many things that you can like synergize it with. Um, like Pteranodon, you can like go Dodo, ends up just being a really good unit. I'm not sure why they changed it, because it was already like pretty decent, but hey, that I guess they wanted to keep things interesting, because there's a whole bunch of balance changes. Um, I haven't been playing this game too much. But um, it's still fun to play every once in a while. Now they have some new weekly packs that are based off community submissions. So the first one is like a rainbow pack. It's pretty colorful to look at if you just like open up the pet menu and you see all the colors. Um, I don't know if uh, I'm supposed to say if like there's going to be future like creator packs based on like Scooty making a pack and stuff like that. I probably shouldn't say it if I don't know. That seems kind of stupid. I'm sure people know, though. Anyway, um, yeah, so a bunch of blobfish, that's a pretty good start. Get to level up the doorhead ant. As for the future of this game, though, so the next update is supposed to be focused on versus and ranked mode, which should be really nice. That, I mean, that adds so much replayability, like climbing a leaderboard for ranked, if there is one. Um, I assume ranked is going to be 1v1s, but maybe they'll add multiple options and you can have like ranked arena or like ranked lobbies as well. Maybe have a bunch of different like uh, elos for every game mode, who really knows? But uh, ranked has existed for a long time in Sap Dojo. It's uh, not too hard to join. I made a video about it, but if you're in Sap Dojo, you go to rank lounge, you do slash join, and then you're in. And that's pretty much it. It's not super active because there's maybe only like uh 20 30 people who've actually like play ranked somewhat regularly and it's kind of been dying down as the game kind of just i don't know uh gets a little tiring for some people and yeah so trying to get as many draws early on but i'm excited for ranked of course because i mean i guess it's an opportunity to show off some skill who really knows maybe i'm terrible at the game now but um Usually regarded as a fairly decent Super Autopass player, and I guess we'll get to just like show that off. Or maybe there'll be some secretly amazing people, but that's usually not the case. We'll probably see most of the people who are like in Sap Dojo and are near the top be at the top of that rank leaderboard, but it could be kind of exciting. I don't really know. Who knows what to expect, but hopefully the update comes soon, because that should be pretty fun. I, maybe. I mean, rank can also be extremely frustrating, which is not great for, like, your mental health if you care about that. But who cares about that, really? I accidentally gave Melon to a Blobfish. I feel like I should have pointed that out. <laughs> what a waste of the Gariel thing. But, oh well. Um, I wanted to give it Banana, get those early monkeys, start buffing these Tamarins. Uh, Tamarin did get a nerf. It's only 33% and then 100% at level 3. So, a little bit more annoying. Actually, it wants to get level 3. And, um, running into a sniper team. That's going to be lost. Down to 2 hearts. Not looking super good. But there's the blobfish pill. That should be really helpful. I'll take the 2-2 buff for 2 gold. That will be quite helpful. And maybe I should have waited till next turn. Because then I could have actually gotten another tier 6. And had a chance to get... German Shepherd, or Lionfish, or like Pteranodon, or like T-Rex. I mean, there's so many good tier 6s in custom packs, it's pretty insane. T-Rex, I think, is like so absurd as the scaler. They kind of buff T-Rex after like so many of the patches that were nerfs. Um, it used to be plus 2, plus 2, and it was plus 2, plus 1, and then it was plus 2, plus 1, and it doesn't buff itself. So I think it's been nerfed 3 times, but now it kind of ended up being good, like, buffed again, because now it doesn't require any gold. Honestly, they could make it cost, like, 2 gold and still only buff tier 5s and above, and it'd probably be more fair. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, level 2 Lobster, that's pretty good. And then Lionfish, of course. Gonna need that. I probably should keep buffing the Tamarin, since those stats would go on to German Shepherd. But I couldn't help just buffing the lionfish and the team's slowly getting there 
do you need to level up the seagull? Um, I had a like a bunch of runs that were so close to being just like perfect, and then they would lose on like one life. Like this run it has one life. Just have to run into that one team that will destroy you, and then I become very sad. But um, I could get level two out or level two lionfish with the alpaca. alpaca. Now it's tier five that only has one charge. When you level it up, it just gets multiple charges instead. Which would be a nice solution, but the problem is you can still go with double alpaca and get instant level 2s, which is really the issue just because of how efficient it is. Like, you get free tier ups and everything, so, I mean, double alpaca is still going to be quite nice. But linefish in the back for draws, even though it's only 4 damage, still worth a shot. Just need this one chocolate or tamarind, there's the German Shepherd, and can I find it? Just going to keep rolling. Cow is probably worth it. There's a 1-up, which I will put on the seagull, and then if I ever find lionfish or something, then I just instantly get another 1-up. And there's a crow, which will still steal the 1-up from the seagull, but still able to get to level 3 tamarind. And level 3 Hercules beetle. Interesting team there. Another draw, perfect. Already round 12, and I still need 7 more wins. Uh, Stingray is just such an efficient buy, so you get plus 6, plus 6 for 2 gold, pretty much. You do have to wait 2 turns, but still, if, uh, if you actually live those turns, it ends up being extraordinarily good. So, gonna go ahead and do that. Also works out for the gold efficiency. Take the flashlights. Put the German Shepherd in front, I imagine. Um, it needs to get to 50 attack. It's 75% of its attack now, and it's no longer permanent stats if you actually do it outside of battle which I think is much more fair. I think they balanced Golden Pack pretty well, where they nerfed Highland Cow, nerfed German Shepherd, nerfed Nerf Shark. Those were really like the three OP units. So now lobbies are a bit more balanced, but still German Shepherd is really hard to stop. Another one-up, I guess, instead of finding a Lionfish, I could just one-up it. That'll work. And uh, level two Lionfish. I need to level up the Seagull a bit. I could maybe go double T-Rex instead of or okay i guess it works out to buy the cow and then go for another t-rex i actually want draws still so i don't really want to put one up in the back otherwise that would be a good strat and this will at least buff both the german shepherd and the lionfish too bad it does not buff the seagull but i probably should still keep german shepherd in front but i'm on lethal so i guess i wanted to make sure i just didn't lose and get the little bit of extra stats from the lionfish spawn there now, just have to level everything up. Gotta level up German Shepherd, gotta level up Seagull, try to get level 3 Lionfish, and Pteranodon Lionfish when it's level 3 means you don't have to level up the Pteranodon. Well, I guess, actually, wait, you do, because the spawns, I guess. But, I mean, it just ends up being an insane team. If you get everything that you want, a level 3 Seagull, a level 3 uh, Lionfish, level 3 German Shepherd, level 3 Pteranodon. Granted, those are like all tier 6s, so it's very unlikely you're going to get all level 3s unless you get so many draws. But then you get to deal 12 damage 5 times, so it's 60 damage pretty much every time. Um, although I believe German Shepherd only gives like 40 attack, so it's actually going to be 12 less. But still, 48 damage I guess 3 times, and then 60 damage 1 time. And then the Pteranodon as well, so I guess you double or triple or quadruple that. I don't know, it gets pretty out of control. Um, another T-Rex looks pretty good. That'll get me to 50, I guess, on the German Shepherd. I guess I didn't really need that, actually. But that'll also give me a level up, which gives me another chance for German Shepherd, Pteranodon, Lionfish, all those fun things. And it doesn't really matter too much that that died. Only 13 attack is pretty sad at this point. Just a little bit of, like, 8 extra damage. There's a chocolate. I don't even need melon. Because this team is so absurdly good, I don't even, like, bother. Because I'm just trying to get everything to level up. So I'm just skipping all equipment at the moment. Even though, obviously, it'd be helpful to win. Keeping the blobfish frozen in case I find pill. One strat that's pretty nice in pack 2, just randomly, is if you actually have, like, a flying squirrel or... I mean, wait, no, you don't even need Flying Squirrel. If you have, like, Puma, and then you have Stingray and, like, a Flashlight, then you can pill Chameleons for plus 6, plus 6. And, I mean, that's only, like, 4 gold for plus 6, plus 6, which is pretty insanely efficient. So, um, sometimes it might just be worth it to freeze Chameleons in case you roll into pill if you happen to have Flashlights. I mean, you don't even need Puma. Puma just doubles the effect. I feel like I did a terrible job explaining that. Um... 
what else can I throw in here? Oh yeah, I saw Across the Spider-Verse. Just an incredible movie. If you have not seen it, I would highly recommend. Like, the animation is just incredible, amazing. It's, like, beautiful. I don't know how what how to describe it. The story is, like, really creative. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, definitely, like, probably my favorite movie I've seen in a very long time. I gave it 5 out of 5. And you can see, even with the skewer killing all of my 1 HP units, they're still kind of working, respawning and killing everything. And, uh, yeah. Didn't quite get everything to level 3, but this is the squad at least. I don't even need this T-Rex anymore, so I can sell that guy since we're already at 50 attack. Don't really need, like, more HP. I'll take another German Shepherd because that will give a whole, even more. I could go double German Shepherd and actually get the Lionfish to 50, which is pretty sweet. Or I could take another Tyrannodon. That would also be great. Or I could just level everything up. I mean, there's so many things that would be helpful. If only I could find them. I'll just blame RNG, but unfortunately, this team kind of killed it. You can still see the Tyrannodon Lionfish absolutely destroyed them. I didn't even need the Seagull or the German Shepherd. What was the point of doing this run? It's completely, like, useless. Oh, well. I could find anything, please? A Blobfish pill? I mean, I guess I could take that. A Crow? Nothing. And pretty disappointing of a turn. Didn't get to really level anything up. And now I don't have the temporary attack on the German Shepherd, so it's only going to give, like, two attack or something. Does it round up or round down? I think it rounds down. But you see all 50-50s pretty much, and just the Lionfish. Even though it's only 28 attack, it's still able to clear through everything. So even though I didn't get the dream build of everything level 3, still very good and quite OP. And yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.